Rated M for Mature. The Sniper Elite series is great and all, but sometimes you just need something dark, something spooky, something with zombies. Rebellion knows what's up, which is why they released three zombie games over the course of two years. They're called Zombie Army Trilogy, and they bring all of the awesome gameplay of Sniper Elite into an entirely new experience. Now, if you're new and wondering, what the hell is Zombie Army Trilogy? Then hey, don't worry, it's gonna be okay, because we've got all the gory details right here for you in this video. Back in 2020, Carl Fairburn had just made his triumphant return to the video game industry with Sniper Elite V2. If you're unfamiliar with how Sniper Elite started, be sure to check out our What the Hell is Sniper Elite video. The sequel was enjoying a significant amount of success among fans old and new, but the mad scientists at Rebellion weren't finished just yet. They were cooking up something special behind the scenes, which turned out to be a PC-only Sniper Elite spin-off game called... For some reason, Rebellion released the game out of nowhere in the curious month of February 2013. I mean, who needs chocolate and roses for Valentine's Day when there are Nazi zombies to handle? The premise of Nazi Zombie Army went like this. In the final days of World War II, the Allies were closing in on Hitler. It seemed like the only option left was to surrender, but rather than give up and end a war that had ruined so many lives, he went ahead and ordered the execution of Plan Z. Execute Plan a literal last resort that utilized occult rituals to reanimate the corpses of his fallen soldiers to keep them fighting. Talk about a sore loser. With the streets of war-torn Germany now overrun with hordes of undead zombies, players once again take control of Carl Fairburn to get to the bottom of things and quell a whole new threat. Although Nazi Zombie Army is essentially built on the bones of Sniper Elite V2, featuring the same controls, mechanics, and gameplay, it ends up feeling like an entire different game. Because your enemies are all mindless zombies, stealth approaches can go right out the window in favor of more action-oriented, arcade-style gameplay. Sniping out in the open, using explosives to blow up groups of zombies, whatever kind of mayhem you can think of is fair game in this spinoff. And up to three more players can join in the fun for a four-player co-op. Of course, you can't have Sniper Elite games without the X-Ray kill cam, and that also makes a return in Nazi Zombie Army. But now the x-ray views of the enemy skeletons show rotted, decaying bones rather than the clean ones of the living enemies in the previous games. It's a nice touch for sure since you'll be spending so much time lining up those sick headshots. A shot anywhere else gives the enemies a 50-50 chance of returning from the dead to harass you some more. They are zombies after all. Nazi Zombie Army made a splash in the gaming world upon its release, but it didn't have much time in the spotlight all on its own. Rebellion followed up that first game with Nazi Zombie Army 2 in October 2013, roughly two weeks before Halloween and just eight months after the first game's launch. Wow, Rebellion sure does work fast. The sequel carried on the story of the first game while adding new mechanics and even deadlier zombies to fight, like the summoners that continuously raise zombies around them and fire demons that are exactly what they sound like, a fiery pain in the ass. Rebellion cooled their heels on the Nazi Zombie Army Army franchise while they worked on the fantastic Sniper Elite 3, but they returned to it in 2015 with the topic of this video, the Zombie Army Trilogy. The first two Nazi Zombie Army games never made it to consoles. They were only available as digital downloads on PC. With the Zombie Army Trilogy, Rebellion remastered the previous games, ported them to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and included a brand new chapter in the Nazi Zombie Army story, all in the same package. Zombie Army Trilogy weaves all three games into a single, non-stop campaign that you can still play with up to four players in co-op mode. On top of all the previously available content in the other games, Zombie Army Trilogy adds a ton new enemies to fight, including chainsaw-wielding zombies, as if they needed to be any scarier. In fact, thanks to the graphical upgrade they got in the remaster process, all of the zombies are scarier in Zombie Army Trilogy. As of 2024, Zombie Zombie Army Trilogy is available on all major consoles, including the Nintendo Switch, and it's the best way to experience the first part of the 
the Nazi Zombie Army series. A fourth installment, Zombie Army 4 Dead War, was released in 2020 and takes place across Italy rather than Germany. Rebellion has announced Zombie Army VR for release in 2024, but Zombie Hitler just refuses to stay dead. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. We are always working on new content that covers the Sniper Elite franchise and its extended universe, and we'd love for you to become a part of our community. Also, let us know down in the comments if you want another Zombie Army game. We'd love to hear from you. We'll see all you sharpshooters in the next one.